We've just made a tutorial about the scripts. So that's the second thing you do after an installation. Well, let's say one is the installation and the second thing you do is checking out these scripts and running them and then you're good to go. The next I'll do is go to auto start, which is in the .config open box, but there is of course always a way to get there as well, like so. But it's here, so I can double click it. And then we're opening in the genie. And now what I'll do is go over it and say, these are the things that will be started upon reboot. So I want my music, I want Blueberry, I want Bluetooth. So do this. We are actually in Crutchbox, but let's pretend that I am really installing on SSD. This is okay, 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 everything is in here. This one, for instance, I will not do. Why? Oh, sorry, not this one. Um, pop up. Where is it again? This one. I will not uh, use nitrogen because nitrogen is going to put the wall for the black wall with the golden logo. What I'll do is use variety, which is up here, and use that for wallpaper changer from now on. Upon boot, it was correct, but now I want to change. And then we want our plank, so I'm gonna delete hashtags and the sleep for the Thames, the weather, and the redshift for at night, a little bit softer for the eyes. So these three things have been hashtagged out, I meaning they will work, they will start the next time my Bluetooth is active and nitrogen cannot work anymore, and then you save. So that's the second thing I would do after the scripts, go into the auto start and check what you like to start, add what you want to start. Maybe you want to start Spotify straight on without starting, uh, without clicking anything, stuff like that. You would always to start uh, Vivaldi or Firefox, put it in there and then it will be auto started next time. All right, that concludes this tutorial about auto start.